hello beautiful family how are you all doing thank you for the love the maximum support i just can't thank you enough so my beautiful people today i have come again you trust progress the analyst no leave no transfer i will give it to you back to back i, will I did not see it necessarily because of the duty to come up and update you but these very lies pop me up then i said i must give you updates what are the light and the, the propaganda by the Nigerian government? I've seen a video trending that uh, 30 uh, prime minister, known as uh, Mazi Simon Ekpa, boys have been arrested <laughs> in Mbise. <laughs> and their are flag and then uh, our face mask and a hand glove. You know? <laughs> hey, God. And they say 30 have been prehended or comprehended or for the, the benefit of those who are not learned. They say they have captured 30 of uh, the African Liberation Army soldiers that are in their custody. And a lot of people have been coming to my B, uh, DM to ask me a question. Uh, Ogasi, waiting with you. Is it true? Please, is it true? I didn't want to respond to you because. You, you have sense. You're supposed to send what is true and what is lie. And that is why I properly titled this very morning broadcast as May You Receive Sense. I know that the zoo have really damaged your sense because in the zoo now suffering and smiling. When you see black, even though you know that this thing is black, but when you look at yourself that there's nothing you can do, if somebody come and tell you say, this thing are white, you will just say, well, no problem, I'm not white. That is a condition the white man uh, condition you to be with the cooperation of uh, Ausa and Fulani and Yoruba. But I want to put it straight to you that those things are propaganda. Okay? They are propaganda. Before I go, before I start that, I want you to listen to something first before I start to debunk them one after the other. Listen to this. The hundred and hundred and fifty, fifty something. Where they deceive them, say they won't carry them, go come. Yes. By a couple. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Get all of them. Uh, carry them, they say, nah. Obi, nah, nah. Obi, this is too quick. Obi, this is too quick. Nah, nah. No, we commander. It's the more no, we. If you say, it's the more, but she be you know the person where they talk. Okay, it's the more, but not the person. Yes, it's the more, but no. I don't complain and take the more before. Uh, he can carry how many men? 160 something men. He won't carry them. Uh, huh? He won't carry them. Go camp. Yes, he won't. He won't carry them. Go sample camp. Now they go. They go start. Uh, uh, they go lo uh, um, launch uh, the the Afra the Afra soldier. Something like that. Now wait him talk. I can't talk some people. I say no. I no flood this man. No. I no flood this man. When I know what him do before. No. I no. I don't defy him again. So that's why I talk that guy. Now that's why I tell them it don't happen to them. And then he come back, he come back, he don't know where the patrol. He don't know where the patrol. And when I leave, I'm making the patrol. When I don't go carry and follow kill him. Now, now what do you the plan on Monday? In carry now, what do you plan on Monday? Something people go and over them to... Ebu Bagwa. Bagwa and the soldier. Ebu Bagwa and soldier. Let me tell you this. For their whitest dream, they can never, can never arrest BLA alias Biafra Liberation Army with their weapon. Do you understand what I'm telling you? They display weapon where they carry from their colleagues put there. Now ask them question. Have you ever upon all the war where you they come in Olu and Okigwe and Oweri? Have you ever captured even one soul? So those people, then they crazy. For them of you that were asking me that rubbish question, I didn't want to respond to you. But so that the, 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 the zoo government will not say, say that since nobody respond to them, that is the truth. That is why I'm responding this very brokers, doing this very brokers now. And that is why I'm titling it, May You Receive Sense. May You Receive Sense. 
what happened? It's true that some saboteur within us steal our property in a worry. Our face mask, they even steal our uniform because I want you to know that one of these days you will see them wearing Liberation Army uniform to go and commit crime in order to damage or to, to do propaganda against us. I'm telling you this in advance because it will soon happen. The saboteur among us stole our uniform from Oweri camp and face masks and other things and go and hand over to now that is the first part part one i call that one as part one part two in uh anambra state about 100 and something men were deceived that there is a camp going on recruitment going on in sapele camp that all those young boys who want to fight and defend their motherland should follow them by the name they call Otuekwe. So those who does not have sense, believe me, well, we have been telling you that there is no recruitment. Anybody who call you say they are doing Biafra recruitment, oh, you are your own. We have enough men. There are enough men on ground. We will never come and call you to come and recruit you. Not lie. We have enough men on ground. And this young man, about 100 and something, stupidly joined them. And that was how then hand over them to Ebubaku and uh, Ami. About 100 and something, you know, no weapon. And Soludo now hand over 50 of them to uh, Hope Uzolima. As I'm talking to you now, those of them who doesn't want to appear in that show, where then they do? Because they are, they are acting skip, skip. So few of them now were uh, gather to present them as uh, Biafra Liberation Army. Do you understand me now? And uh, Army and Ebubaku was voluntarily donate their weapon to display there. To show to, to convince you and the world that these are the weapons they collect from them, these are the men. Look at all those men that sampled there. Did any of them wound? <laughs> is it what, what they did not know is that by the time they do what they do, they did not know we are behind them. How can you go to battle, to battle somebody? The person you are battling with, he did not sustain injury. He did not sustain wound. He did not sustain bruise. He did not, ah, ah, now, before, why, why, why uh, uh, journalists in Nigeria are always evil like this? Brand envelope journalism. Nigeria is gone. And Nigeria can never, 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 will never, never, never wake up again. If your mind is still telling you that one day Nigeria will resonate from this debt, you are deceiving yourself. Nigeria are gone and gone forever. Nigeria can never, never wake up. Ever, ever again. And let me tell you, you see this war, we go fight to the end. You people are beginning to bake. You are baking. But I'm telling you that there is no amount of baking you will bake us that will make us to cease fire or stop this war. Because I warned you earlier that don't start what you cannot finish. You are baking. That we are making uh, so many Nigeria forces to get widow. Their wife are now widow. We, see, we are friends. Who tell you? Our fathers has never been your friend. Neither should we, the children, be your friends. You are our enemy. Now and forevermore, you will remain our enemy. Even when Biafra is restored, you are our enemy. Person like me, if I see you in the street of Biafra, I will kill you. If 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 I if I know if I look look look, I don't see anybody, and I see Yoruba, see outside in Biafra land. When I don't look, I don't see person who go uh, who go sue me. I kill you. I'm telling you my own palm and play. Even when Biafra is restored, you will remain my enemy forever and ever. You think we are joking? You think I'm joking? You all, you get to understand that you have made so many women widows and make so many men widowers 
and make so many children motherless and make so many children fatherless and make so many people brotherless and sisterless. And now you are begging for pity. Have you forgotten that it is what you sow that you will reap? You must reap what you sow. In this life, you must reap what you sow. You cannot sow plantain or cassava and you are expecting to go and reap yam or beans. It doesn't, it does not happen. Who does that? That's in where you sow, you must reap them. Where are we? We are in the land of Biafra. Are we in Yoruba land? No. Are we in Hausa land? No. We are not in the north and we are not in the west. You carry death. Come to the land of Biafra and you think we will fall on and look at you. You think in your wider dream that we will fold our hand and wash you, killing our mother, killing our sister, raping them, killing our father, killing our brothers, killing our husband and wife, killing our friends, and we will fold our hand and wash you. You are insane. You don't know what you get yourself into. Believe you me. You do not know what you get yourself into. And I keep telling you, 2023 can never, will never be 1967 to 1970. But because you fail to learn history, then history must repeat itself. Our father never sur surrender to you. Remember? They never surrender. The voice was, nobody win. Nobody lose. But now, the voice must be, Biafra have won the war. That must be the difference. This time we must fight the winning. There must be winning. So they ever think that we will come and tell you the same grammar our, our father tell you that she make you to suffer them and extend the sovereignness to us. Our children can never, never suffer, experience what we suffer. We must fight this fight till they finish. If it means that every living thing in Nigeria will burn down, so be it. We, do, we, we did not give a toast about it. Now you understand what they are doing, what they are doing. You gather every man that you just deceitfully arrest and gather them and say the Biafra Liberation Army. How do, you, how do you arrest them? You don't give the story. How do you arrest men with gun and none of them injure? None of them sustain bullet injury. None by none. All of them, no wound, nothing, nothing. You just go, okay, it was Anova, eh? then came to do M M uh, amnesty. I can see. They came to do amnesty to you and then just came and said, hey, we be Biafra Liberation Army and we, we are tired of fighting. Take our gun, arrest us. And you arrest them. Thunder, thunder that are never, never prepared, finish. Make him begin to strike all of Una now. You they carry a many ammo tank come with, with many uh, fighter jets, with many machinery you 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 deploy, and then you cannot even arrest even single one show of a B, a BLA. Now all of a sudden, not even army or now police. Go arrest 30. 30 with, with gun and bullet. 30. You arrest them with gun and bullet. They did not fight to defend yourself. No, you did not exchange bullet with them. You did not injure them. 30. Were they sleeping? Even though they were sleeping, somebody will see a change bullet. Somebody will see sustain bullet injury. You just pack them. Come and range there. See, get mine, journalists. She get mine to open their dirty, stinging mouth and talk that nonsense. God go punish you. People then deceive in Anambra. And we have been warning you. PM have been warning you. We are not doing any recruitment. No recruitment of whatever. Anybody that comes say, ah, follow us. We, we are going to, we are doing recruitment. We want to declare Biafra. You stupidly follow them. You are on your own. I have told you, don't follow anybody. Remain in your house. Revolution is about to take place. Everyone, you can from there join the queue. Everybody has their own way, have their duty to perform. 
when the heat start burning, the only thing I used to tell you, just say you defend yourself. If you die, so be it. If you survive, so be it. But this war, we must fight this war to the end. And some of you fail to listen. Look at about 100 and something. Somebody just call me and deliver the message. Say, Oga, what can we do? I say, uh -huh. I will not be warning you people not to follow anybody. I will not be warning you not to follow anybody. He said you have warned them. But because of the zeal they have to serve their motherland. But when the call was given, fall in, fall in. Many of you refuse. Now, when you don't see, say danger is near. Now you allow somebody either to deceive you. Now, about 100 and something was deceived. And gather them to police and army. Now, courtship of uh, Soludo. Some of them were sent to uh, uh, Hope Uzolima to take do in show. Hope you are failed. You are a failure. You cannot touch us. You cannot see us. How can you arrest what you did not see? We are breeze. Can you owe breeze? Hold on, what we see now. Have you not been hearing the complaint of your soldier, your soldier that you are sending them to go and fight spirit? We are the legends. We are the people you killed many years ago. We are back to claim what is fully belong to us. And there is nothing you can do about it. Nothing, absolutely nothing you can do about it. The more you fight this war, the more you, you your people will keep dying. Fulani will keep dying. Yoruba will keep dying. Machinery you will deploy to Biafra line will keep dying. If you think we are joking, I challenge you to bring more. Yes, bring more. The land of Biafra is big enough to swallow all of them. You don't know that? You don't know that? Uh uh. Now you know. You can't stop us. I've told you that we are fully prepared before we come to this war. This is why we were sent to this war to ensure and revenge our debt, to ensure that we restore that thing where killed us before, to ensure that the enemy is perished, nowhere to be found. We are not coming to this war to listen to your garbage. But I challenge you, if you think you are still capable, why, why haven't you come to all those things? You went to Okigwe and defeated you. You went to where they defeated you. You are now looking for the way to, you know, make people build confidence on you again. For how long now? The last time you came here, you died and you were crying like babies because that is what you know how to do best. And you cannot come again. It is a bubaku that is fighting now for you. Sometimes they will just guard themselves in uh, some private buses. Think they can do somehow. Yesterday, tell, ask them what happened to them. More than 50 were, were down. The vehicle destroyed. Because anyhow where you take on, any, any way where you take on, you must die. Anyhow where you take on, you must meet death. Now we get the ground. This is the land of our ancestors. We go nowhere. You don't know that? This is the portion Chuko Kikabi Yama gave to our great-grandfather, that gave to our grandfather, that gave to our father. And our father have hand over it to us. But let me shock you. We have taken an oath to restore this land of Biafra to our children and our children's children on, on, on born without your presence as Fulani, without your presence as Yoruba, without your presence as Britain. Even though it will cost us our life, we must achieve this goal. And our children must enjoy this paradise in a good shape. And if you think that we will ever surrender or retrieve, you are insane. Something is wrong with your head. You are dreaming. Not now, not ever. Because we know that one thing is for sure. If we surrender, we will die. If we do not surrender, we will still die. So it's better we fight to the end and regain our dignity. And knowing fully well that you cannot win us in this war. Knowing fully well that you can never defeat us. Knowing fully well that you are only coming to the land of Biafra to die. Tell me, why should we surrender to you? 
you all weep on, we all weep on. You shoot at us, we shoot at you. At the end, you are the one dying. What gives you that confidence that come some, someday uh, we will come and surrender? I'm telling you that we are still on testing. You know? Remember, we are still on gear two. We never activate gear three yet. Please, you people will say, gear two, we have dwelt so long on gear two. Yes, yes. We know the purpose and the reason why we dwell so long on gear two. Very soon, we are about to activate gear three. You must be patient with us. Because the joining to freedom is gradually, gradually processed. And the person that is leading this joining, he has the old tablet on his hand. And he's accusing them one after the other. We don't need to be rushing. Our eyes is on the ball. Our eyes is on the ball. Our eyes is on the ball. We can never miss it. We get mission and we get target. I've told you before that we must cripple the Nigeria economy. Now you can confirm that a dollar is more than 1,500. This December, get ready to buy for a liter of 1,000. Get ready. I'm giving you this in advance. <laughs> Get ready because we must cripple Nigeria economy. At the end, Nigeria will use their mouth and begin to beg Biafra to go. The same thing that happened in Egypt is about to happen. Otherwise, we will destroy Nigeria beyond repair. That prophecy has already been prophesied by the great man, the great prophet, Mazin Namude Kano. We are still on testing the microphone. The main program is not yet coming. When he does, you see all the governor, all the house of rep, all the senator, all the politician in Biafra land, then go terrorists come up for Biafra land. And that match is about to start. The match, the main match is about to start. Before football start, they will, they, all the players will gather, they will make introduction. Yes, a change something, who go start first, who go pass first. That is what we are doing. It is when the whistle, the ball now set at the center and the whistle blow, the main match begin. I am telling you today, being the 3rd December 2023, at the time standing now, 10 minutes to the hours of 12 noon, that the main match is about to begin. And by the time we start, you will not see any politician again in the land of Biafra. You will not see any senator or governor. Biafra government will take full charge of their territory. And then Nigeria government will understand that we do not come here to joke. That we come to proclaim what is fully belongs to us. At this point, I will tell you that the propaganda then said is just a lie. Now, the foolish one who think that there is recruitment going on somewhere were deceived. About 100 and something, 150 something, were deceived from Anambra that there, were, that there is a recruitment of the Afra Liberation Army going on, they should come and join. And they foolishly follow and they were captured by Nigeria army and many of them are already dead by now. So some of them were sent to hope. Some of them were sent to hope to take do that show where they do, at that film where they at, in the name of to create fear in your mind. But I will tell them that we are both fear. We know nothing about fear. Fear does not know us. So, my beautiful family, that brings us to the end of this beautiful update. Do it to like the video, share, and subscribe. I still remain your one and only. Progress the analysis. I give you all the update back to back. Thank you so much. And bye bye.